Did you know a single mistake in your EAD application might cost you $470? Keep watching this video until the end if you don't want to pay these extra fees and complete our application correctly. So without wasting any time, let's get into it. Hello everyone, this is Piyush. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, the main goal is to help you with your STEM OPT application. EAD is one of the most important documents for a US immigrant because this is the only document which you need to have in order to work legally in the US. So once you graduate after your bachelor's or your master's, you have to apply for your OPT, which stands for Optional Practical Training. And in that, we have two options. One is the post-completion OPT. In simple terms, it's the OPT that you can use after you graduate. And once that's complete, like that's for a duration of one year. Once that is done, then you have to apply for STEM OPT. Remember that the STEM OPT extension is only for the people who have degree in science, technology, engineering and math. So non-STEM degree holders can only work in the US for one year and they have to find some other way once this duration passes. But for STEM degree holders, you can get an extension of 24 months. So you get to work one year after your graduation plus two years in STEM OPT extension, which turns out to be three years in total. As I already mentioned, this video is only for people looking to apply for their EAD for the STEM extension. If you want to apply for an initial EAD just after you graduate, I have a separate video. You can go and check it right here. The process is not that difficult, but you have to know the steps in order to file it correctly and do it correctly in the first time. You don't want to make any mistakes and pay the fee again by creating the application and submitting it again. Before diving into the main content, there are some prerequisites that you need to follow. So the first is you have to fill out the form I-765 and form I-983. Once you have filled out both these forms, you need to go to your university portal, submit these forms and then get an I-20 from your university where your DSO, that is Designated School Official, endorses you for the STEM OPT. You can't submit your application with USCIS before doing that, so make sure you do it in advance so that you have enough time to get your application submitted. I have already created a video on how to fill out the forms I-765 and I-983 and how to obtain your I-20 if you are a student at Purdue. If you are a student from some other university, your university might definitely have a dedicated blog on how to get your I-20 from your university. So make sure you check that out and carefully fill out the form so you get your I-20 on time. Now the next part of the video is only for people who have received their I-20, the STEM OPT I-20 from their universities. If you still haven't received our I-20 or you are still in the process of that, the next part of the video won't help you so you can close this video and come back to this when you have your I-20. I will start sharing my screen shortly but before that I would recommend you all to create a separate folder on your desktop for STEM OPT because the USCIS application requires you to submit a certain set of documents. If you have already applied for your EAD, you know that they require you to submit a passport and all the I-20s so it's the same for the STEM OPT as well. Only a few documents might change but I would recommend you create a folder first, get all the documents in that folder so that it's easier to submit the application when you go to the USCIS website. So the list of documents that you need to have with you for a EAD application include completed I-765 form, completed I-983, front and back scanned copy of your EAD, your I-94, the latest I-94 which you can get from the government website. Then you also need to have the I-20, the STEM OPT I-20 that I just talked about. In addition to that, you also need a passport photograph as per specifications. There is a separate link where you can uh, edit the background and have the image as per your requirements. I will attach it in the description box so you can check it out. Or you can also get the photograph for free in your university. So if you have that option, that's great. Otherwise, you can check out this link right here. And you would also need to have your scan degree in order to have the complete set of documents. Now that you have all the documents that I just listed above, you are all set to go ahead with the application. It will be very easy for you. I will start sharing my screen and let's get into it.
as you saw this time opt ad application is not that difficult once you have all the required documents with you just make sure to double check or even triple check your form before submitting it because you don't want to get into that situation where you forgot to upload a certain document or put some incorrect information the fees is very high for the form so make sure you do it correctly and do it correctly in the first attempt to share this video with your friends who are about to apply for their stem opt ad application feel free to comment down if you have any questions for me like and subscribe my channel if you find my content useful thank you again for watching this video until next time